So tell us a bit about your time on the Warriors. Oh, I had a blast. Uh, we shot mostly nights. Um, Walter Hill is fantastic. I'm still in touch with Walter. I see him a lot in Los Angeles. And um, it was my first film. So as many of us that were theater actors, we all, we all started with the Warriors. And what was it like working with the guys? So the, the Warriors, you know, did you enjoy that? They were a blast. I have Marcelino. I have a picture of Marcelino, who was near and dear to me, who I stayed very close with in L.A. And uh, I just spoke to Deborah von Valkenburg last night. We're sorry she's not here. And um, it's just a great time. It was a great time for all of us. We were all young theater actors. and. Um, Everyone got together and just loved the process of it. And how did you get the role in The Warriors? Did you have to audition for the role? I auditioned. I actually was walking down the street. The two casting directors, Fuhrer and Ritzer at the time, I had auditioned with a monologue in between their desks in the old theater days. And then I'm walking down the street and one looks at the other. I'm coming toward them and they went, oh, oh. And then I went up to audition. If I hadn't been on that street corner, I don't know. And do people still recognize you to this day from being in the Warriors? Yeah, they do. They do. I mean, Warriors fans are fantastic. And they're very, they're loyal and they quote all the lines to you. So, yeah. And how do you feel about being part of the phenomenon that is the Warriors movie? It's taken on a life of its own, this cult movie. Uh, total life of its own. I see the director, Walter Hill, in L.A. and and he's amazed, we're all amazed at the, the incredible life this movie has had. It's touched so many people. I mean, I see people 20, 25 years old and they say, oh, the Lizzie, oh, I went to my car dealership to get my car fixed. And the guy comes running out, I'm in sweats, I'm like, not my best look. And he comes running out and goes, oh my God, it's the leader of the Lizzie's. And what have you been doing since The Warriors? I, I do a lot of theater. I actually co-founded a theater company in Los Angeles, which was the old Circle Repertory, and we called it Circle West in L.A. And I've been doing some writing. I did a rewrite on the musical Elmer Gantry that was done at the Signature Theater in Charlington, Virginia. And um, I'm co-writing a movie with a Cuban playwright who just got a series that's going to shoot in Cuba. Thank you very much, and good luck with your future projects. You. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had a cab driver yesterday. I'm on the phone with my friend, and I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to this Warriors event. And the guy nicely sits in the cab and he goes, excuse me, I hope you don't mind, but you were in the war. And he goes, you were the Lizzie, oh my God. And so I had the photographs I had picked up to bring here. So he was completely flipped out getting a photograph. And he goes, I just want that one. It's going on my bedroom wall, you know. But it was lots of fun and like to just randomly be in this taxi. And what he said was he picked me up in Williamsburg and he described to me in 78 which gangs were on that side of Williamsburg. The, the Spanish gang and the Irish gang. And he said they had changed. I mean, this was, this was the reality. This movie was a hit with them because that was the life for them. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, thank you.